Yeah. Next question is for blow molding. What are the key parameters for good foaming? Tips and tricks. Okay. Temps, uh, temps are important when it comes to any foaming agent. Again, in, in extrusion blow or extrusion, uh, those temperatures are so, so important um, to control it. And now that we're getting into kind of extrusion here, um, you want to add screen pack. You want to get that head pressure up. And what that does is it creates pressure on the material in the screw. So remember, foam, if it's not under pressure, it's a low pressure application. So it sees a low pressure, it starts to expand. But if it's under pressure, it doesn't want to expand. And that's ideally where you want to be because you want it to expand when it exits the barrel into the dime. That's it's, it, as soon as it exits the barrel, you're going to see a drop in pressure. It's going to start to go up. If you've got a melt pump, it's, there's a drop in pressure. It's going to start to go off there. But that I prefer it go off there than way back at the back of the barrel. You know, so those pressures will allow you to add more foam and keep the part aesthetic. Whereas if you're pre-foaming a lot, you're going to get less weight and you've got to use less material because it's, it's pre-foaming, it's, it's getting out of control. So I hope that, that helps. 